the cooperative has taken advantage of the turmoil in the convenience sector by striking a wholesale deal to supply 2,500 cost-cutter shops less than 24 hours after Palmer and Harvey tumbled into administration. PNH, the UK's fifth-largest private company, collapsed on Tuesday after cash flow problems scuppered rescue takeover attempts. The demise of PNH which distributes cigarettes and branded food and drinks to 90,000 shops around the UK, has caused instant problems for Cost Cutter after its supply contract ended at midnight on Tuesday. Cost Cutter said that it had put in place contingency plans while the co-op said that it was looking at practical short-term ways it can support Cost Cutter's independent retailers ahead of the new supply contract formally starting next year. It is understood that Cost Cutter is relying on a group of wholesalers to step in to ensure empty shelves are kept to a minimum in the run up to Christmas. Cost Cutter has been in talks with the co op for the last couple of months ever since owner Sir Michael Bibby said in August that he hoped to respond to the exciting opportunities that had been sparked by Tesco's takeover of Booker. There had been initial takeover speculation, but in the last few weeks it became apparent that a wholesale deal was more likely. The co-op's deal will officially begin in spring next year and it will also supply the Maze, Quick Save, Simply Fresh and Super Shop brands. The contract win comes just two weeks after the co-op narrowly won approval from NISA members for its £143 million takeover of the convenience chain. We are operating in a dynamic market environment and this deal, coming shortly after our NISA announcement, shows how we are positively responding to the changes occurring within the sector, said co-op food boss Joe Whitfield. Whilst our deal with Cost Cutter will start formally in spring 2018 we are looking at practical ways we can support independent retailers during this busy trading period, in light of the news concerning PNH, MS Whitfield added. It is essential that we maintain a strong independent retail sector and the co-op is committed to playing its part, along with others in the industry, in ensuring this occurs.